You know, I'm thinking that today I really want to start looking into things like education and the workshop, the library, the chapel, all that good stuff that we don't have yet that I think will make our campers a little bit happier because it's fair to say they are a little bit miserable at the moment. They're not happy for sure. There's 47 of them currently having some solitary thought. There's 13 more that are waiting to go in there. It's just, it's just not a good, we're not in a good place. All right. It's, it's as simple as that. They're not in a good place. And I'd like to see if I can fix that. So I'm going to do a couple of things. I think just before we get there, I want to go ahead and I want to place a few more CCTV cameras so that we can go ahead and say that, uh, we can get one of our grants out of the way. And I'm going to place them essentially like this along the front of the canteen. I think that'll be a pretty good spot. And I'm going to place them uh, up here as well, looking towards the yards, because I think that might be a pretty good spot to uh, have one. And apparently that actually did it, which is fantastic. So I don't even need to actually place them, but I think I will anyway, just because it feels like cheating like to place them and then not actually use them it feels like cheating i know that the whole tree thing is kind of cheating as well but that feels a little bit cheap to me so i don't really want to do that anyway i do want to start figuring out what we're going to do with things like education and things like uh things like that so i'm looking at this area and i'm thinking it might be pretty good for it but i really want to get like a nice little chapel in somewhere as well now apparently there's a little trace of a tunnel going on over there. We might want to look into that. But I think I want to try and get like a nice little chapel somewhere first. And I realize this whole place is turning from a summer camp into essentially a weird sort of housing estate type thing. Like you've got your row houses in both areas. Then you get your chapel nearby. It's a bit weird. I mean, it's a weird housing area to be fair. It's got staff rooms and a you know, a communal canteen and stuff like that. It's not quite a housing area, but it's definitely a bit weird is what it is. It is, it is definitely a bit weird, but let's, let's do a bit of design here and let's figure out what we could do for some kind of chapel. Cause I want it to be nice. I do. I do want it to be nice. So we'll go in a little bit and we're going to just sort of plot out the corners that we're working with. And I'm thinking what we'll do is something a bit like this for the corners so there's gonna be like a little weird front on it we'll go two across we'll have a double regular door i think and then we'll go in so that'll be a double regular door then we can go back by two maybe back by three and we'll come in by one we'll go two and then back out and I'm just going to make this a weirdly shaped building, I think. How much across is that? So that is four there. How big is a... How big is a pew? Can it go in the middle? Oh, it can. That's perfect. Okay, so that's fine. We'll do we'll do exactly that. So let's just keep going with this idea. So this bit's supposed to be four. This bit's supposed to be four. And then the little gap in there is two. Uh, this bit is four as well. And it's going to be a bit of a weird looking building. I think it's fair to say it's going to be a bit of a weird looking building, but I'm kind of okay with that. I'm not too bothered by... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, gents? What? Have you fired? You fired a shot. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Right, we... Okay. Um. Oh, my God. He's got his hands up, man. Why'd you shoot him? They've all got their hands up. Oh my god! Killed by armed counselor with shotgun. This, oh, he was ex-law enforcement and a snitch. That's what happened. Oh, we need protect... We need to... What do you mean there's a tunnel over there? We need to start protecting people. We need like a secure wing of the camp, I think. <laughs> we, need a, we need a secure area for camp because apparently... Apparently, there's some unpopular kids that are having a, a, a tough time is uh, is what they're having, I think. We we may need to look into that. Now, let's see here. Can I do, like, a little sort of tower thing at the end there? Does that look... That looks... Um, that looks... That looks... Um, a little bit... 
little bit wrong there. <laughs> Looks a little bit, um, I, I don't know how I would describe it. I guess you could, you could say, uh, ribbed would be, would be a word there. Ribbed would be a word that I would like. Um, definitely don't want to go there with this uh, particular building. Let's just see if we can do, I guess, just that. It's a bit of a boring looking building now, but I'm going to go with that because I think it's probably fine. I could do that with the end, actually. And I think that's okay. It's still a little bit, still a little bit, you know, uh, ribbed, but that's fine. We'll not worry too much about that. Let's just build this out of, uh, what are we going to do? Bricks or concrete? I'm thinking we have a bit of both around here. I'm thinking we're just going to go brick. To be totally honest, I think brick's going to look a bit nicer. So we'll do all of this. And get as much of this done as we possibly can. Which is going to be all of these little side bits as well. And hopefully this gets done quick. Because I think this kind of thing will probably cheer up all of our campers. I think I think a nice little chapel will get them in a better, you know, mood than, uh, than not having a chapel, basically. So hopefully that does the job. I'm also thinking though, I want to make like a, can I do like a common room outside? Is that something we can do? It needs to be indoors. That's going to be a solid no. What could I do outside that they might enjoy? I guess I could do a yard, which is a bit weird to do next to a chapel, but I want to do like some space next to this thing that's going to be nice. So... Let's let's figure out a thing. First off, let me let me go into walls, and I want some hedges going around the sides of this. And I want the hedges to go like that for the time being, so they're gonna perfectly surround it. And then I guess what we could do is go one, two, three, four, and go four there. Leave a gap of two and go four. A gap of two, go four, and then do this, and then turn that into some kind of little yard or something. I think that could be nice. I think that'll be fine. That's probably something we can manage. And then I think what I'll also do is put stone up through the middle there. And uh, maybe do stone that goes right up to the door of the chapel as well. Although that's going to look a bit weird from all of our other... Nah, I think we'll just use paving stones. It's going to look weird if we start using a different material for the floor here. So that is all going to be paving stones right there as well. And then the rest of it can be grass, and eventually we can make it look nice. But right now, that's not really the priority. Right now, I think the only thing we need to do is get ourselves a nice door on here. So that's going to be there and there. Prioritize that work, please. And let's get the building done so I can see what it's going to look like in the grand scheme of things. And I'm also realizing, if I really want to put windows on this, uh, it's going to... We're just going to put, you know barred windows on there which is a bit weird but all right let's just do that because i don't know i think windows will look decent even though they're not on the outside over there that's probably fine uh there's a tree there interesting can we can we get that out of there please there probably shouldn't be a tree stump in the middle of the chapel but it's there and i'd very much like rid of it i'm gonna be honest and I guess we should also put lights in there. That's going to be a thing that we need. So let's do, I don't know, lights there and there, there and there, there and there, and I guess up there as well. And that should be fine. We can put a couple of lights by the entrance. Shouldn't look too bad. And then we just need to run power into it and a bunch of, uh, put a bunch of stuff in there. And it should be fine. I think this is actually going to look quite nice, to be totally honest. I genuinely do. I think get some nice decorations in here, some grass, all that stuff. I think it'll look decent. Speaking of decor, whoa, 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 what? We have a perimeter wall though. How did that happen? Can they still dig under it? Because I can't. I can't put. I can't put pipes or cables under it. Okay, it's time. We're shaking them down. Let's go. Look for everything. Let's find it. Let's find out what's going on here, because there's obviously some uh, some proper silly sallies in here that think that they're silly. So what? Uh, that think they're gonna be uh, they're gonna be doing whatever they want to do. We're gonna be changing that's what we're doing. We are gonna be changing that behavior very quickly. Uh, also, grass. That's that's another important thing that we're gonna be doing. Bunch of grass. Let's just prioritize all of that. 
whilst the camp counselors are off and uh, looking for things. At least these guys are happy down here. That's nice, even though they have a, an armed counselor just stood in there. What do you mean there's a tunnel over there? Are they doing... Oh my god, are they tunneling like... Over here, down, through... Are they tunneling like out under that building there? Because that's the only way I could see... Like, I, I... I could swear they can't tunnel under perimeter walls. I thought that was a thing. Unless it's either... It's that or it's like really hard to do. I don't know. I might be completely wrong here. There is a distinct possibility I'm completely wrong. Um, in fact, it's quite likely that I'm completely wrong, but whatever. Let's go ahead and get this area looking nice in here, since it's going to need to be fancy. So we'll do that. The trees, or sorry, not the trees, the grass actually looks really nice in here as well, which I'm really enjoying. So we've got that going for us. Prioritize all of that, please. I didn't want to put grass down there, though, so let's just fix that bit. There we go. Just get that turned back into paving stones, please. And I, I genuinely think that looks all right. You know, I genuinely, genuinely do. Let's go to rooms. Let's go to yard. And let's say that this is going to be, I guess, a yard. And I'm kind of okay with that. So that right there is going to be a yard. Uh, it is fine. It is ready to go. So what we could do, I guess, is go to benches. And we could throw a bench there and a bench there. Just a couple of little benches like the whole way through here and just make it nice. That, seem, that seems like a thing we can do. You know, make it nice and pleasant in there. I also totally forgot to put, uh, to put, you know, wooden floors down there. So let's get that done. And then all we need to do is get pews and stuff in there and turn it into an actual chapel and we're good. So grab all of this, turn it into a chapel right there and that bit as well. It needs an altar, it needs pews, and it needs a prayer mat. So the altar, annoyingly, uh, will not go central. That's great. That's that's what you want. Okay. Uh, not sure. Not sure how to feel about that. I'm gonna be honest. We all know my feelings and things that don't necessarily go central, especially if you've seen me play City Skylines. So that's just great. Um. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not entirely. I'm not entirely pleased at that. But whatever. I guess we could put some prayer mats in here as well, in between the sections of uh, of pews there. And I guess the altar is going to go off center. Oh, that, that, that. Oh, I'm a little bit tilted. I'm going to be honest. I'm a little bit triggered by that. I am a little bit triggered by that. I'm not, not okay with that at all. Um, <laughs> that's, that's, that's the thing is what it is. Uh, let me go ahead and set up deployment, I guess. Um, during free time, I think we're going to want guards going uh up and down through here so just a little something like that we'll just do one we'll do two and then i think we could maybe have guards going uh sort of around everything here and that should probably be fine we'll just do a little patrol that goes like this around everything so that they chill out in there so there we go that should be that should be fine we can totally totally manage that have we really not found we really didn't find a tunnel. Are you kidding me? Well, that's great. That's that's just what you want. That is just what you want. All of these little false alarms that there's tunnels. And we know there's a tunnel somewhere because they did dig out. So I don't know. I I don't know. I don't know what's going on. We'll, we'll not worry too much about it. We got a chapel though, so that's nice. Let me go to uh, programs. Let me go to spiritual guidance. And spiritual guidance is going to be from, yeah, there to there is fine. Can we, can we get everyone in there? There's 24 people in queue. Should we do another one? I feel like we could do another one. I feel like we could do two sessions of spiritual guidance. Although I'm not sure, hmm, maybe we space them out a little bit. Do them like an, do like an evening one. So we'll do that. We'll see if people are actually going to go to it or not in the in the evening but i'm i'm kind of okay with finding out wait really we've got you guys just got here what did you do you had drugs oh really you had weapons good lord all right 
Not sure how to feel about that, but okay. Oh, hello. So we've got the spiritual leader there. We've got the guards going in. We've got everybody turning up for it, which is good. We have someone that's a little bit... What's, what's wrong with you? You want luxuries? Well, you're not getting luxuries, mate. You're in camp. Camp isn't about luxuries. Camp is about... Uh, whatever camp's about. I don't know. I never went to camp. We don't... A camp isn't a thing. Like, the whole summer camp concept... Like, I know it happens in the UK, but I've never... I don't think it... I've never heard of one around here, and I've never known anyone to go to one. So, it's a weird concept to me. Admittedly, the, I imagine this probably isn't what summer camps are like in the real world, to be fair. But, uh, it is a weird concept to me. It is a really weird concept. Anyway, let's see what else they're going to be needing. So, they're going to be wanting um, mail rooms, probably. That's something we could probably look into. I'm pretty sure we can actually set campers to work in there. Same with the library as well. Let's make a library. I want to make a nice looking library here. Let's plan that because I have an idea for it. It can sort of look similar to this actually. So if we go and say we're doing that and that, we can have a little bit of fun here with this because, oh, that's going to be tricky. Okay, so we can't necessarily do super even like pillar things here uh but we can at least have some fun so let's do a bit of a smaller gap because it's a bit of a smaller building and we'll go back to like there with it i guess yeah we'll go back to like there with it i want to bring the entrance part out just a little bit because i then want to like bring it back in a little bit so that's where the door is going to go because i think that'll look kind of interesting and uh, I realized I could actually have a bit of fun with that as well if I really wanted to, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, but I think that'll look okay. That's where our little door is going to go. And I guess we could maybe do like a little like staff entrance at the back or something. Might not be a terrible idea to do some kind of little staff entrance. Let's just bring it over a little bit further. So we'll do that sort of thing to make it kind of, you know, have another way in for staff or something. Uh, we'll have a door here. And then I guess that whole thing can just be a library. I don't know what way to really set it up, if I'm totally honest. I don't I don't know what's needed in a library, but that should be totally fine. We could do bathrooms, maybe. I don't know what would... I, I mean, I'm curious. You know what? I'm curious. I'm actually... I'm genuinely curious to see what happens if I set up like a small bathroom area off to the side of uh, the library. So we'll set that up. We'll have toilets in there. And it's kind of nice and secure and tucked away and all that stuff. So that should be totally fine. Um, yeah, let's just let's just build this. Let's just build this. These can be some, you know, solitary thought chambers down here as well. Uh, which is, you know, still as dark as it ever was. But uh, we're also going to want to start going in and putting in all of the uh, paving stones for all of this. So let's just do all of that, please. Bring through all the paving stones. Might do something a little bit fancy with this main entrance part. Might not be a terrible idea. What else could we do, though? We have stone. That's about it. I guess we could just run some stone up to the main entrance. And kind of do that. So run some stone there and there. So that's already queued. Then paving stones up to the main door. And then paving stones there. Uh, paving stones there. And that should be fine. So let's just prioritize all of that work. And you know what? Let's... What is this going to be built out of? I guess brick. So we'll do... Are those built out of brick? Or are those built out of... I think those are built out of concrete. Yeah, they are. Okay. So let's just say all of that and those little bits there are brick. That little bit at the back is concrete. And then all of these are going to be concrete as well. So there we go. And prioritize every bit of it. So anything else that the workers need to do, they are not going to be doing. They're going to be building this for me. And I like to think it's going to look pretty decent. I think it'll look okay. I think uh, if we can get people working in here especially, I mean, we have 108 campers. So getting them working in 
a library. I, I don't know if that'll necessarily give them luxuries, but it'll give them something. And I'm kind of okay with giving them something at least. Oh, we just released someone. Oh, he's going home early. Fair enough. Oh, wow. I forgot we did this. I, uh, <laughs> I totally forgot that we, uh, we had those guys in there. All right. Oh, dear. Uh, let me see. Let's just do regular doors on this. And then I want to do, uh, staff doors at the back, I think. And then down here is obviously going to need the, uh, solitary thought doors. So those can go on there. And we'll get all of that done as quick as we can. But this actually doesn't look terrible. To be totally honest, it really doesn't. Uh, let's go ahead and just fill in all of this space as well, because it does look a bit nasty. It looks like it's been half done. And, uh, not very well half done either. So we'll get all that in. Get ourselves a section of brick wall there. And I think what we'll do is some white wall just over here. For that little space. And, uh, that should be pretty decent. That, that should be good. We should be able to make that look nice. Also, paving stones, please. This is, I, this is, like, my biggest pet peeve with Prison Architect is getting, like, flooring built because it so often just sort of goes weird because they have to take down a tree and then they don't actually finish the job. It's really weird. Also gonna put the stone back in there because I think it'll be a nice border to, uh, to everything there. I think it'll look pretty nice having the stone there. And, I mean, we could go for, we could do concrete tiles in here. Which I think I'll try. We'll see what that would look like. Having some uh, some concrete tiles in those spaces. Ooh. It's an, it's an interesting look, is what it is. I'm kind of okay with it. Uh, let's see. Let's go to rooms. Let's go to library. And let me say all of that space right there. Library. Which needs shelves and sorting desks. Which is totally fine. We can do that. But we're going to need lights first. Because it's pretty dark in there. So let's do lights in a bunch of the corners, do a light up there. Uh, probably going to want a light in there as well. And then I guess a couple of lights in the middle. And uh, maybe a couple of lights at the top, a couple of lights down there. Light in the middle, the middle. That should probably give us enough light there. Let's also run some pipes in here because that's a thing that we're going to be needing. So we'll run that over and I guess just straight under the toilet so we be totally fine. Electrical cables, kind of a similar story. We'll just run it sort of up into the middle and across. And prioritize all of that, please. So all of that gets done. And while we are waiting, let's start putting in the toilets. Just like so. And I guess we start putting in all of the library-specific stuff as well. So we have library shelves, which are pretty sizable, honestly. I don't know if we need to put, like, tables in here or anything, but whatever. We can figure that out. Let's just do the shelves as nicely as we can. I think we'll leave just a gap of one between each of them. So we can do this sort of thing. And then the sorting desks. I mean, that's the back of one. So if that's, if that's the way they go. So we could do one, two, there. Whoa, hold on a minute. Something's going on. We'll get to, oh no. Oh, not this again. That's a full gang in there. Oh my God. Okay, one of them has a taser. One of them has a taser. One of them has a taser. Guards. Guards. Get over there. One of them has a taser. Someone has a taser. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, 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 okay. Everybody back to your cell right now. Oh, my God. Have we lost it? We lost a guard. We lost two guards. Counselors! We lost two counselors! Oh my god! Really? I can't, I can't believe you've done this. I, I can't believe they've done this. That's just... Oh my god. It's not fair. It happens every time. It keeps happening to me. Wait, have I not spaced this out evenly? No, I haven't. Because... Yeah. Uh, I'm an idiot. Those need to not be there. What's the distance between this? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
Uh, that's going to be tricky. Okay. Tell you what we do then. We do that. Uh, or rather, we do that and we do that. So these ones at the bottom are evenly spaced. And these are... What is this? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. So there? I guess it's fine if it's not perfectly even. I know that's me saying that, but... That looks all right, I guess. It looks like it'll do. Let's put a let's put a wide sofa there and a wide sofa there. Wide sofa there as well. And uh yeah, that should be fine. Can we get people working in there? Maximum 25 jobs. Oh my god. Okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. We're getting 25 people working in there. Let's let's do it. Let's also get the flooring in there cuz that's going to be needed. Uh, so I'm thinking, honestly, wooden floor. It's a library. It should have it. Uh, I'm thinking back here is going to be the slightly more expensive ceramic tiles. And also just to be sure of things in case they break a toilet and put a drain there. I'm thinking this area back here can be wooden floor as well. Again, just to be kind of fancy. And I guess what we also need to do is during this time, we are going to need to have quite a few uh, guards in here. So one, two, three, four, five, I'm thinking. One guard per five campers should be totally all, all right, I guess. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully very well. Definitely hoping very well. Uh, going to be a lot of unsorted library books coming in, though, I'm guessing. Which is, what do you mean another one? What did you, what do you mean? Oh my God. How many people? How many? I need to know. I need, I need to know. Do we have a stat? Do we, do we have like a stat anywhere? What do you, what do you mean six in the last 20? Oh my God. I wish I had a stat for like the total number of people that have been sent home permanently. What do you mean two? What did you do? Oh my god. Okay. All right. I know what we need to do here. I know what must be done. Uh, we need to... Oh, these need power as well. We'll get that in a second. We need to... Um... We need to be more alert to what's going on in here because apparently there is an abundance of... Uh, I'll say it, just straight up drugs. There's no, there's, there's, <laughs> there's no way of tiptoeing around it to make it fit the camp theme. It's just straight up drugs. There's a lot of them, and I don't know why. Also, what are they doing with the library books? Do they just put them in there? Can I get like a table, please? Is that an option? Can we just like get a table in here? Because that's like I'll tell you what we'll do. Hold on. Take out um. I don't know. Take out that and take out that take out that shelf take out that shelf and prioritize that please so take those out and i want to put a table there and a table there a table there and a table there and i want to prioritize that because i want to see if they'll put the books on the tables because right now they're just loading boxes into the library and it's quite it's quite a state it's quite a mess so they've got the tables and the boxes are just still sat there. Okay, so that did nothing. All right then, that's that's fine. I guess we'll leave it up to the campers to uh, to sort that mess when they uh, when they go to work because there's 25 of them going to uh, going to work, which is actually going to be kind of cool, honestly. I'm I'm kind of looking forward to that. So that'll be 25 of them working in there. What else do they need? What else? What else can they have? I know a workshop is one thing. I know that, uh, what else? Uh, education is another thing. Are we, what else, what else we got? So, classrooms, mail, mail room. We need a mail room. I totally forgot about that. So, I, I don't think I've ever done, I don't think I've ever done a mail room before. I don't actually know what it, so I, I assume, I say I don't know what it does. I'm, I'm pretty confident that I know what a mail room does. But, actually, another thing I've never done is the shop. I have straight up never done a shop before. We might want to do that as well. We could do that, like, up here. Although I think... 
To be totally honest, I want to do more... I want more people in here. I want more people in here. So let's do more of the normal cabins, maybe? I mean, let me, let me see something here. How big is that from back to front? That is 16. And then here we can just about do it. It'll be right against the perimeter wall. That seems risky. Is is what I'm gonna say there. That seems that seems risky. But I feel like I'm willing to take that chance. I guess. So if we do that, and then do that to double it up a little bit. So what we want to do is one, so one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, five. Uh, one, two, three. So this back wall is what, five? So that's five. One, two, three, four, five. That should go to there. So that is in line. And then back wall should be five. So five brings us to one, two, three. That should bring us in line with that. It does. So that right there is totally fine. Okay, so then we want to go one, two, three. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. And straight down should bring us in line with that. It does. This is, this is just, it's just patterns, isn't it? I mean, I need to do the front still, but that's fine. Alrighty, so the planning's done, and I realize we can do something to solve the problem of it being against the perimeter wall. You can just buy that. Just, just grab that. And there we go. Suddenly, we have all that room to play with, which I will. Uh, but we also can just go ahead and say, put in more perimeter wall, which is going to be quite expensive. Um, but let me go one, two, three. I think that's where our perimeter wall is. So like that. Again, quite expensive, but whatever. Uh, one, two, there, and across. So again, going to be quite expensive, but that's fine. Uh, and then from here, we just go down like this. And we're pretty much spending all of our money on that right there. But that's, again, I'm kind of totally fine with that. Not too big of a deal. We can get all those perimeter walls in there. And uh, hopefully none of our workers will get totally stuck. Should be fine. We are ever so slightly broke. We spent a lot of money on that. Uh, a, a tremendous amount of money, actually. So let's maybe go in and just tear out some trees, because we're going to be needing to uh, going to be needing to make back some of that money, I think. So we'll tear out all of those. We'll tear out a bunch of those as well. We'll tear out a lot of the trees back here, because good lord, there's a lot of them. So just prioritize some of that work for a little bit. The perimeter walls aren't that big of a deal because all we've done is the planning for the new building, so it's fine. It's it's really, it's not that big of a deal to get those walls done right away. They can, oh my god, really? What do you mean? Who? Who? What do you mean? Oh, he got, got by an armed guard. Okay. I, I mean, sure. All right then, I guess. I just, every time, every time. That's so many people lately. That's so many of them. Like, there's just, there's just such a, a, what do you mean four? What did you do? He has a shotgun. What did you expect? He stood there with riot gear. What were you doing? <laughs> Turn off. Turn off free fire. I know I've had free fire on. I'm not, I, I have no problem with free fire, but the, the, <laughs> the, 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 the campers have no concept of keeping themselves alive. They have no concept of it. They're, they're just like, oh, you know what? He's got a shotgun. We'll see if he's got the nerve to use it. I bet he won't. And then he did. And then he did. I just, I don't. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so it's so silly. It's so silly. It really is. Um I want to go ahead and prioritize moving stuff to uh to export, which apparently there's not a lot of, so never mind. Never mind. We'll just let them tear down the trees and 
figure out what else they're doing, I guess. Because a lot of this stuff does need moved to, uh... Wait, export or storage? Apparently neither. What are you guys... So you're chopping down those trees as well? Okay. We'll be fine. We'll, we'll have enough money at some point, I'm sure. I mean, to be fair, we could just grab another grant. You know, get them working in... Oh, I don't want them working in the kitchen, though. We could do this, the old reform through education thing, but it's so difficult. Uh, we'll do that one. We'll make sure none of our staff are exhausted. That'll never happen. Uh, we could do, we could do that one at some point. Find 10 illegal narcotics. Consider it done. We've already done it. And then we need to remove the supply of stolen tools and remove the supply of stolen weapons. That's going to be a challenge, I think. That is, uh, that is gonna be a challenge. What's wrong with you? Safety? Mate, if your friends wouldn't- Well, there's a dead body being escorted, uh, across there, I suppose. If your friends wouldn't do silly things, your safety wouldn't be an issue. And to be fair, you've never been safer. Alright? We have- we- we have armed camp counselors waltzing around the place. You've never been safer in your life, mate. You've got five counselors in that building with you. What do you mean your safety's an issue? What do you even mean? Don't be silly. All right. And also, why are they so agitated right now? There's 19 gang members are furious. What do you mean there's 19 gang members that are fu Why? So 56 of them have serious complaints. 39 of them are in solitary or locked away. Uh... I mean, I, I guess, I guess they're unhappy because, whoa, 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 what's going on here? What are you, what are you doing? What are you even trying to do there? You're just going to get yourself in there for longer. He did that to himself. And this guy, this guy, I don't know what he has done to that cell, but it's leaking into the next one. That's, that's unpleasant. So what is actually wrong with you? So... I guess they just don't feel safe. Or they're overwhelmed by safety. I don't know. I I have no idea. It's kind of hard to tell. Alcohol he needs. So I guess the higher the... The higher the stat, the more they need it. And I guess they just don't... A lot of them don't feel safe. And what do you need? You need drugs. You're not getting that. You need safety. So they're all quite annoyed about safety. That seems to be where they're at right now. Which is weird. Like, it's only the ones over here that seem to be... No, you don't feel safe. You guys don't feel safe. You don't feel... Any oh, you want luxuries. Okay, so a lot of them don't feel safe at camp right now. Interesting. Very interesting. I'll tell you what we're going to do then. We need to get a classroom. We need a classroom and we need to... I guess... I guess we need to start training our guards to use tasers. Because I'm starting to feel like maybe part of the problem is the fact that our guards for a while were using shotguns on people who were just getting a little bit agitated. That might be part of the problem. Might be. I'm not saying for sure that's the problem, uh, but there's a distinct chance. I think it's fair to say there is a, a distinct, distinct chance that that was at least part of the issue.